The Jurors is an artwork made by Hugh Locke for This Place Runnymede. It was produced in 2015 to mark the 800th anniversary of the sealing of Magna Carta. But this is not a memorial. Rather, it's an artwork that examines the changing, ongoing significance and influences of Magna Carta for our time. Twelve intricately worked bronze chairs stand together on this ancient meadow, each chair incorporating symbols and imagery, representing concepts of law and key moments in the struggles for freedom, rule of law and equal rights. In the jurors, stories of refugees, campaigners and activists meet representations of the UN rights of a child and ancient Egyptian justice. Layers of symbols, keys and flowers all combine to decorate the surfaces. The references in the jurors cross many cultures and time periods, some more widely known than others, but for Hugh Locke, the artist, all are connected to the ideas of Magna Carta and therefore to Runnymede. This is a discussion piece, and I'd like to think that people bring their own stories to this, their own personal virtual chairs, which they would add to this if they had a chance. In that way, the idea is bigger than 12 chairs and these 24 stories on it. It's something which spreads out all around us, you know. I would like to think people would go away and think, ponder on ideas of justice and their ideas of justice. The jury system, a central feature of the British justice system and many others around the world, has its origins in Magna Carta. These 12 chairs represent the modern UK jury, which consists of 12 people. The chairs seem to be waiting a gathering, a discussion or debate of some kind. An open invitation from the artist to you to sit and reflect, to discuss the implications of the stories and ideas depicted here. On the back of one chair is a direct reference to Clause 39 of Magna Carta, shown here, as in the original documents in Latin. It states the right for people to be tried by their equals if accused of a crime, and is one reason that Magna Carta is used as a symbol of freedom and rights of people, especially those who confront ruling elites. You might make any number of connections between images and symbols within the jurors, picking out the stories or images that you recognise, intrigue you or catch your attention. Across all the chairs, you can see flowers, keys and small stoats or ermine. The flowers are coldsfoot, hop, black-eyed Susan and horse chestnut, all found in a Victorian guide to the symbolism of flowers. You'll also find keys within the embellishments. Some of the keys are based on the one for Nelson Mandela's prison cell and some others are copies of the key to the Bastille. Several ships and boats can also be seen. Aboard the sailing ship Zong, used to transport slaves, occurred a terrible massacre, with hundreds of slaves thrown overboard, later claimed as lost cargo by the British owners. The resulting court case led to a public uproar in Britain and a strengthening of the abolitionist cause. The oil tanker run aground is a reminder of corporate and environmental laws and responsibilities, and the overcrowded refugee boat stands in for those thousands of people fleeing injustice. Hugh makes similar connections between chairs that depict different prisons. So there are a number of images on these chairs of prisons and ideas of prisons. So one of them is Nelson Mandela's prison cell. And as you look at that in the far distance, you can see the, an image of Aung San Suu Kyi's house and she, when she was under house arrest. It may have been a nice place to live, but it was a prison. Oscar Wilde's prison cell is also represented here on a cover of his publication of The Ballad of Reading Jail. And opposite him, on the back of another chair, is an Aboriginal prison cell. But this is in the form of a tree, and it was a prison tree. And this has a timeline of Aboriginal struggles carved into it. Each year, thousands of people visit the jurors, sitting here, exploring its images, and taking the time to make their own connections between these stories, their own lives, and the significance of this place. We hope you'll do the same. <laughs>